So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you go to create multiple listings right here, you can find this on, you know, your selling dashboard. You can find it under your listings, under shipping orders, I believe under sales. So it's not hard to find. Just go find this where you can actually go ahead and list. And instead of creating a new listing, because you'll see if I create a new listing or if I try to edit any current listing, I get that error message that pops up and says, hey, you know, you need to reload this page. It doesn't work. And that's exactly what it looks like. Right. And I get the same error message if I try to. Uh, you know, edit a listing as well. So what you want to do is you want to create multiple listings. And the way that you're going to do this is it's going to allow you to download a spreadsheet template where you can then input that stuff in there, right? You can put the title, you can put the description, you can put the price of the item, you can uh, obviously upload photos, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So what you want to do is if you don't have a template yet, download the template, you'll get something that looks like this. And you just want to drag these over so you can kind of see the columns. But realistically, you don't need all these columns that they're suggesting, at least if you're drop shipping, you're not really worried about the specific variations that they're going to give you. Okay. So instead, what you only really need is you only really need the title, obviously the price that you're marking it up to the condition. I always pretty much list in, in new condition. Every once in a while I'll do used, but it's mainly new the available quantity and the shipping price, right? If you have a shipping price of free, if you offer free shipping, all these should be zeros, right? If you charge for shipping, I always charge $5 for shipping so I can uh, mark my prices down a little bit more. Then all, obviously the shipping price will be whatever you want it to be, right? Available inventory is the quantity that you want in there. I used to start it at seven, then I went to 50. Now I'm at 100. I've had no issues listing almost 150 a day with 100 available inventory for months now right so i just do it that way that way i don't really ever have to worry about keeping items in stock unless obviously it's selling a lot then i'll go back and i'll change the inventory and raise it right so your spreadsheet should pretty much look like this when you want to start adding products okay you're going to have blank title or blank title columns blank price columns blank description okay all these depending on how many you want to upload and i would recommend starting small like don't go out and build a spreadsheet of 50 because this does glitch out every once in a while. So let's just do one as an example to show you here. You can obviously build out the spreadsheet and just go down rows as many products as you possibly want. So all we're going to do is we're going to come back to a product. I have a e-commerce e image downloader, which is this plugin that's going to download all the pictures from the listing. And obviously ZDrop does that as well. Okay. So you're going to need those, those plugins, uh, whether it's ZDrop or if it's, or it's e-commerce image downloader, this is a free plugin that you can download on the group Google Chrome store. Uh, but those you're going to need later when we upload the pictures when we're actually in Facebook Marketplace. First thing we're going to do is copy the title. So we come paste the title in there. Next thing we're going to do is paste the description in there. And what you want to do in the spreadsheet is you want to click in the spreadsheet because if you just paste it there, it's going to drop it down because it's usually bullet points on Amazon. Now, if you're doing this on a different site, obviously it's going to be slightly different. So play around with it, paste it in there. So all your description goes in there and then you just want to mark the price up. So I typically mark prices up about 40%. I'm just going to gut shot this at like, we'll say 239 just to kind of keep this moving. So I don't have to actually calculate it. We'll say 239. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this and we're going to upload a CSV instead of downloading the template. Okay. So there we go. We're going to upload FBM, check, check your spreadsheet for errors always pops up. Don't worry about that. And now you'll notice, okay, put the title in it, put the description in. It didn't change the price. Every once in a while, it either will miss the title, it'll miss the description, it'll miss the price or any number of those things, but that rarely happens. Most of the time it uploads them all, right? You'll see if you upload like 10 or 20 at a time, the majority of them upload fine. And then you just need to add the pictures and kind of edit it. But every once in a while, it'll miss one. But this is a workaround that's working currently and still, still allows you to A, edit items or add new items if you need to. So then you're going to come over and click the draft button so that you can edit these. And now we just need to download the pictures, right? So download the main images. They're going to pop all the way up down here. Then we're going to add the photos, grab them right there. I downloaded them twice by accident. And so the title looks fine. Obviously I would go through and change these and space the description out, but for the sake of like just showing you right here um, and not really kind of, um, you know, taking a lot of time, I'm not going to really do much to this. I think I said it was 239. Again, I just want to power through this to show you. Again, I would add tags, but again, I'm going to power through this to show you. I'm going to hide it from my friends, and then I'm going to click done editing. Your entire process here doesn't change. Done editing, and then you should pop it up over here, and it'll say ready to publish, okay? And then, obviously, if you have five here, if you have ten here, you're going to do all of those at once and then publish them all. Since I only have one to show you as a test, we're going to publish that one. And then it should pop up there and say it's active. So that's how you do it with multiple listings and a spreadsheet. That's the workaround.